Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Dungeon. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. So, we got the Dijini on our team guys. And, we're gonna go back to see what she can do. So excited. I think we got the shortcut. Now we just gotta go this way. What? It's locked. Oh man, I'm, that means I gotta do this thing again. All right. Up. Oh, that was easy. Oh. Oh, let's see. And oh. Oh, it seems. It seems pretty good. I like um Captain Bonnie though. She's really helpful. Hmm. Oh, let's go this way. 39 versus 39. Can she still grant wishes though? I wonder if she can still grant wishes even though she uh, is released from her prison? From the lamp? Hmm. I'm actually, I'm actually very curious. If that's the case. Oh my gosh, we only walked three steps. Oh, it's fine. Onwards. Yeah, we can go that way, so... Hmm. We're here. <gasps> We're cut. As we walk through the door, Sari looks around us. This doesn't feel right. What, what do you mean that this doesn't feel right? Whatever do you mean? There's someone here. How do you know, Sari? Does, can we not sense it? I can just tell. This reeks of... He suddenly shoves me to the side. A dagger embeds itself into the wall where I was standing just a few seconds before. I knew it. It's an ambush. Derry's shouts are enough to alarm the entire group. Oh. Oh, our group. Okay. You think I could not have foreseen that? Hmm. Might be because the dungeon lord probably masked them in some sort of spell. I will have to do better. A knife in the dark we have. You had best keep your eyes peeled, Fox. The last thing we need is for the captain of this expedition to die now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still a little worried about that tentacle though. Yomi, are you okay? Sylvie immediately rushes to my side. I, I think I'm fine. There's no wounds or anything, is there? No. Good thing uh, Sari was there. I have a metal kit, kit if you're hurt. I am fine. Do, don't worry about me. I wonder who attacked us. You actually risked yourself to save her, Sari? Well, yeah. Of course I did. She's our ally, Maeve. Start acting like it. My apologies. Ooh. Who is our assailant? What is interesting is that I did not sense it earlier. Whoever our foe is, they are very good at hiding themselves. Sari pulls out her blade and begins looking around the room. Who is it? Is it... I was gonna say it might be an, another elf girl? Hmm. Hurt yourself, you coward. Mist begins to appear in the room until it's nearly impossible to see through it. Oh my gosh, I, I, I was uh, kind of close with the. Uh... Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa. Going back to the story. In that mist, a woman clad in veils approached us, a wicked looking dagger in either hand. I was gonna say dagger girl, but then I thought of an elf as a as a dagger girl. Hmm. Well, I, I like her outfit. It seems like she just wears a bow and yeah, that's it. She looks at us with cold, unfeeling eyes. There's nothing else this could possibly be. We are facing an assassin fox. <gasps> an assassin girl! I want her. She wears nothing down there except the belt. The assassin just looks at us with those eyes. Her silence is almost eerie. Sari looks tense, far tenser than I have ever seen her before. I have fought assassins before. You have? There is no way I would not recognize those daggers. There's some huge daggers for uh, an assassin. Wouldn't it be like smaller? Yomi, do not underestimate this foe. If you make a single mistake, she will make sure you won't live to make another. Hmm, have you had assassins on your team? I do not think I have seen Sari act this serious before. 
Very well. I will not underestimate her. Good, even you would be in danger if she managed to reach you. The two warriors stands off. Sari and the assassin, circling one another. I wonder what the outcome of this battle will be. Well, us winning. 42? Eh, we were fine. Yeah, we're fine, 42. We're super duper fine. Look at that. Oh no! Um, yes, okay, good. Oh my gosh, I got so scared when uh, Yomi lost her clothes. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Assassins, I once had a job as a bodyguard for a family of nobles. Oh, you were a guard? Oh. These damned cowards were crawling everywhere. Well, I mean, they, they are good at their job for being an assassin. If, if they're, you know, crawling everywhere and just being quiet. I had no idea that they were monsters, however. Really? It does explain a lot in retrospect. Why is it that she didn't speak a word? Every other monster here seems to have something to say. Assassins take a vow of silence before they begin their gruesome work. Hmm... Interesting. That's about as much as I know about them. If there is assassins here, then I can only guess what the dungeon lord has been using them for. Hmm... To take care of people outside? Interesting. Maybe. Terry seems to be piecing something together. Now that I think about it, there was a lot of assassination attempts up the point where I was sent to this dungeon. Hmm. A lot of political turmoil too. Do you think the Dungeon Lord has been deliberately inciting chaos in the human cities? It sounds like it, yeah. It's more than possible. Especially if she has these assassins working for her. And if she were doing that, then perhaps she is aiming to topple the human cities. Oh no! Now that is a desire I cannot grant. The death of another. What about love? Are you the genie? C can you do the same, you know, genie stuff as, you know, the Aladdin genie? Or, or better? Because, because you know, you can you grant more wishes? But it seems there are others who can, hiding in the darkness. I know how it feels. You do? Some time ago, my crew attempted Muni. Are you sure they attempted Muni or they... Oh wait, no, that, that's, yeah. Muni is like taking over, kicking out the captain. Okay, never mind. I thought that meant like leaving for a second. This is why I stay alone for the time being. Because she took care of them. Hmm. Wow. For every night in the dark you see, there is three more waiting. That's a... Hmm. So if I see, so I say, if I see a knife in my kitchen, there will be three more waiting somewhere for me. Oh, more steak knives. You really scared me there, Yomi. That assassin nearly killed you, and yet you didn't even seem bothered by it. Are you simply not afraid of death? Hmm. I mean, she does talk a lot, you know, she did talk a lot to uh, the deities, right? I am not afraid of anything much these days. Well, when someone tries to kill you, at least act surprised. Nah. Uh, it. I. Just. Just stay safe. Now that you mention it, Sari, there has been some assassinations lately. There has? Especially of nobles. Some heroes have been targeted too. May puts her hand on her chin. If these assassinations are all linked to this dungeon lord, then we need to act immediately. Well, good thing that, you know, that you're here with us then, Maeve. I completely agreed. Let's hurry up and keep moving. She has power. She has ambition. Both of these things combined are very dangerous. We will have to hurry up, Sari. I have a feeling that terrible things are being set in motion even as we speak. Well, that's why she's trying to delay us. I agree. When I left the human cities, everyone was at each other's throats. Even my guildmates weren't able to escape the political divide there was in the cities. If they were to be attacked now, then I doubt anyone would be able to survive it. Ooh, not good. That is not good. Yes, we unlocked the door, guys. Alright, now we're gonna go back the other way. Go this way, because I'm pretty sure the middle prop area is going somewhere. <gasps> A vase! A mending tonic! Oh wait, we should probably just go back because uh, Yomi is hurt. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, please don't die. 
Oh, oh we got it. Oh my god. Whoo. Oh my gosh, that was scary. I, I thought for a second that... Okay, because uh, I didn't save before, and if Yomi dies, then it's game over, guys. So we gotta be super careful here. Super careful. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Alright, let's go back. Before I forget. Oh. No, we got this. We got this. Yes. You good? You gotta be super careful with Yomi. Good. Let's go back. Wait, what? What's this? This is new. I wasn't expecting this. As we walk back into the inn, a loud yawn escapes from my lips. We've been down there a long time, it seems. This is the first time it's actually gotten dark outside. Night has long since settled in. It has been a tiring expedition. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it is time for some rest. Rest? That would be advisable, my humble master. You look really tired. Terry looks extremely suspicious. Hmm, what does that mean? Let me guard your room, Yomi. I have a bad feeling about tonight. No, no, it's fine. I would rather not be disturbed. Hmm. But Yomi, well, I suppose you can handle yourself. But I won't be far away if you need help. Just shatter something. What's going on? Do not worry. Settling into my room, I can already feel my eyelids getting heavy. Ooh, we haven't actually been able to really check out her room that much. So, dog collar? A whip? Hmm. Try to, uh, you know, try to be Indiana Jones or something. I suppose even a monster as powerful as I am can get tired. That's good. I haven't slept since Siri released me from that CO. Well, I mean, it has been a long, long day. It would just be nice to close my eyes for a little while. That, that was a little while. That was fast. Eh? How did all of this mist enter my room? Oh. What's going on? Oh. I think this looks familiar. Wait. Assassin? Because that's, that's the only thing that oh, makes sense. I quickly get off my bed right before a dagger tears into where I was lying. <gasps> I swear, an assassination attempt of all things. Oh my gosh, it is an assassin. The assassin just stares back at me. Is it the same one with the booty? I think so. Come on, no one can hear you except me. Would you like to say anything before you try to take my life? Her expression doesn't change at all. I see how it is. Then let's get to it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <gasps> we can capture her. Alright, let's try to capture her, guys. Um, ice? Oh my gosh, that was actually a lot. Oh, come on. Beh. Dang it. Could have captured her. I'm sad. Just as I knock out the assassin, Sari bursts into my room. Yomi, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. We, I just uh, destroyed the assassin girl. I saw mist creeping out of your window. Wait, what? How did you see that? Oh, oh, she was outside. Out of the window. I, I thought I thought it was like... Never mind. You worry too much about me, Sari. I'm fine. What did I say about assassins, Fox? I know, I know. We have to be careful of them. If she actually managed to kill you, what would have become of the rest of us? Oh no. Yes, I understand that I have made an error in judgment. So my apologies, Sari. Next time I'm just going to ignore your request to be alone. Oh. So what do we do with this assassin now? Oh, I have a few ideas. Ooh. Let's get, let's get, get something to do with that, uh, that uh, Indiana Jones whip and uh, the little collar. Just leave it to me. Let's see what, uh... Oh. I... 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 I guess that was it. Oh. I, I thought there'd be something else at least. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. We got attacked by the assassin. And apparently, it just nothing else happened after that. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Sakura Dungeon, 
And please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye. This stuff maybe might save our lives, Ukita. Why are you so profound on trying to keep everything a secret when your life is in danger?